guys so I have a really really interesting video for you guys and it's all about products that I use for my oily skin I have extremely extremely oily skin and I swear to god I feel like I have used every product in the world and I would like to share with you a few of the items that work good for me so, uh, I have three different categories. One, the first category is stuff that you put underneath your makeup, primers and lotions and stuff like that. The second category that I have is like BB creams and tinted moisturizers. And the very last one is a few of the powders that I really, really like. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to share with you guys is called, I guess the name of the brand is called My I guess something like that but I got this in a uh, birch box I think it was my very last birch box it's a sample I got it as a sample I don't know if you know birch boxes it's like a monthly subscription where you get samples and stuff well I got this in a birch box and it is called the multi-purpose mattifying moisturizer and it looks like this and it is like a lotion when it comes out of the bottle and um, yeah, it's like a really, really thick lotion, but when you put it on your skin, it like instantly mattifies your skin, which is what I'm looking for, and it is really, really expensive. I think it's like $68 on birchbox.com, but it is worth the price. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Excuse me. <laughs> The next thing that I want to share with you guys is by Bosha. It is No Pore, No Shine T-Zone Treatment, which looks like this. And as you can see, I am almost out and I need to go get more. I actually got this in the little, I think it's called the Little Black Book set, which came with a few different things in it. So I'm not really sure how much this costs, but this stuff is pretty amazing. It's it, this one's a little bit more of a gel lotion texture and it also absorbs right into your skin leaving it nice and matte and it also feels really really soft um, does it have a smell to it not really it just smells kind of I don't know yeah so the next thing is a primer that I think is amazing for my oily skin girls. It is the Professional by Benefit. And this is just a sample that I got, but I love this stuff. It does its job. It, it helps keep on the makeup and it also mattifies the skin pretty freaking good. And I am shocked. Because it doesn't really mention anything about mattifying. It actually leaves the skin so, so soft. And I love it. Love it. Definitely recommend this. Um, the next thing is by MAC. And it's called Matte. MAC, Matte. MAC, Matte. Yes. So this is kind of a jelly, the jelly primer texture. I don't know if you know what I mean, but this stuff is awesome. It, it's like a clear gel like that. And as soon as you put it on, you could see that it instantly mattifies the skin. And yeah, I definitely recommend this. It just goes so great onto the skin and it makes it feel really, really soft. The last thing that I'm going to show you is a dollar store item. I found it at the dollar store just a few days ago and it only cost me like $4.50. And it's from Clearasil and it's called Adult Acne Treatment Cream. I don't know if they sell this anywhere else, but it looks like this, and it's actually tinted. I forgot to mention that. I don't know if they sell this anywhere else but the dollar store, but it has uh, a little bit of color to it. I don't know if you can see that, and I don't know what's in it, but it says it has sulfur in it and something else. I don't know how to say it. Here, I'll show you what it is. It has another ingredient that I've never heard of. I don't know if you could see that. But 
it just instantly mattified my skin. It's not, it doesn't, it's just, I don't know, it almost turns into a powder, which is pretty neat, I would have to say. The only thing that sucks is it has the parabens in it and blah, blah, blah. But this is a good idea if you just need something that's cheap and that'll work really quick if you're in a hurry, you know, or you want to buy this before you get the expensive stuff. Yes, yes. So the next category that I wanted to get into is the BB creams and tinted moisturizers. The first one that I am going to start with is by Urban Decay and it is the Naked Skin Beauty Balm which looks like this. I'm actually wearing that right now under some powder foundation. It is just so soft on the skin. The only thing about this is that it's really, really sheer. So this is really good for somebody who's just starting out with makeup or who does not like to wear a lot of makeup. So, um, yeah, this actually does a really good job mattifying the skin, even though it doesn't mention that it does so, but it does a really, really good job. It also leaves your skin feeling really, really soft. So, yeah, if you can f go to your local Sephora and try a little sample, of this I definitely recommend it I recommend trying this the next thing I got is by Jort and it's called um, matte moist tint and it looks like this and I actually ordered this from Birchbox if you go to um, Jort's uh, Jior I cannot say their name I keep saying Jort it's Jior website and you send them an email they will send you a sample so you can try this stuff it is actually pretty amazing um it it's actually a little it has more color than the naked um the urban decay bb cream and it has more color than most bb cream but it does it definitely does mattify as you can see that little dot I don't know it just rub it just blends so so beautifully into the skin it's amazing and I definitely recommend trying this it I mean like I said just go to the website write them an email and give them your address and they will send you a sample of this just make sure to select and let them know the colors that you need because I actually got the two tannest medium tan colors and I ended up needing the darker color or the lighter color for my skin tone. Try it, go ask them. It's awesome. The last thing in the BB cream department is uh, Tarte's BB. It's called BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer which looks like this. This stuff is awesome. It is so soft on this skin. The color that I got mine in is medium. And this one is like one of those soft primer textures. The colors match pretty good. The coverage is about a medium coverage. It's like a medium to almost full coverage, which is kind of weird for a BB cream. Yep. It is so, so soft on the skin, and it actually keeps your skin from being so oily, which is amazing. So I've got one more category, which is the powders. But before I go into the powders, I wanted to tell you guys about a liquid foundation that turns into a powder that I think is so amazing and it I actually don't have a bottle of it right now but it is called Hourglass's Immaculate Foundation and um, if you go on onto Sephora or Hourglass's website you will be able to find it it's about like $65 something like that or no maybe it's like it's like $59 for it and this stuff is a miracle I it actually turns into powder so fast that I have to do it in sections of my face. It is so awesome. That's my son. He's in the bathroom. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
yeah, so try it out. I don't know, go to your local Sephora, try a sample of it, and I definitely think it is totally amazing. Okay, so on to the powders that I have. I have four powders here. The first one is Laura Marcier's Matte Translucent Smooth Focus Press Setting Powder, and it has shine control in it. And it looks like this. The powder is actually green. It's like a real light green. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like a really, really light green, but it just blends right into the skin. The, um, the applicator that it comes with it has two sides. This side is for more heavy coverage. This side is for a more sheer coverage. I know it's kind of weird that it's green, but it does blend right into the skin. And I'll show you real quick a little bit. See, it does look powdery, but if you just pat it a little bit, it just blends right in so beautifully. I love it. Yes, yes. This was about, I think it was $32. I'm like not sure. I don't know why I can't remember how much anything is, but yes, yes, yes. And I bought this from Sephora. The next two um, are tra loose translucent powders. And the first one is Makeup's Forever High Definition Powder, and I got this at Sephora for like $16. They have bigger size, but this stuff is amazing. It's super, super fine, and yeah, it's like, it gets everywhere, which sucks, but oh well, it does so good. on. It just does such a good job mattifying the skin. I don't know if you could see how great this stuff is it just blends right in flawlessly and I love it and oh yay I love it and the other one that I have here is a uh, Tarte Smooth Operator it's clay finishing powder and this is another little sample that I got I've got so many samples that it's will drive you nuts but this stuff is so amazing too it's also a really really fine powder and it's a really fine loose powder but it just does such an excellent job at mattifying the skin and it also blends right in you see as you can see like the shine just went right away no problem see shine no shine and it lasts for quite a while, which is pretty amazing. Now I have to put it on the other side because this side feels lonely. And the last but not least, this is right now my all-time favorite powder that I use. It is very, very pricey, but it is totally worth the price. It is Smashbox Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder. And it does cost about $59, but it's totally worth it. The outside, I'm sorry, it's like gross, but it looks like this. And it comes with a little brush, but the, uh, the brush for some reason it sheds so bad that I don't even know. And in the inside it has like this little grinder where you twist this and it grinds it and turns it into a loose powder. This stuff, I actually have it on right now. It matches my skin so nice it makes it makes my skin so bright and it does such a great job I don't know if you could see that it does such a great job at mattifying my skin and then staying matte for a long period of time which that's what I have such a hard time finding I don't know if you could tell but there you go just put some on my forehead and for some reason I don't know what's in it but it makes my skin look a lot brighter which I love like I said it's expensive but it's totally worth the price if you want a good product you do have to spend a little bit of money so that concludes my oily skin uh, craziness over here and I would like to say thank you for watching bye